Now that you've learned how to create basic transactions inside of Wave, I want to show you how you can link your bank account. Linking your bank account to Wave enables Wave to be able to automatically create transactions for you based on the transactions that are in your online banking. This speeds up the data entry time and allows you to focus on more important things in your accounting. Now in today's world, we're becoming more and more accustomed to linking different applications to our bank accounts to facilitate our daily lives. However, if you have some concerns about doing this with WAVE, let me assure you that WAVE uses state-of-the-art security, technology, and encryption to ensure that the connection between WAVE and your bank is always secure. Also, WAVE doesn't store any of the information regarding your bank accounts, and WAVE's connection is read-only. It can only receive from your bank account. It can never write to your bank account. So you should rest assured that this connection with WAVE is not only very secure, but also very common. It uses the same technology that many other common applications today use to talk back and forth with online banking. This is something that's very typical in the accounting space. That being said, let's take a look at how linking a bank account works in WAVE. To link your bank account to WAVE accounting, there's actually a couple of different places you can go. You could go to the Transactions page on the left-hand menu. And you'll see a blue button at the top that says Add Bank Account. You'll also see one that says Upload a Bank Statement. We'll talk about that one in a minute. But the Add Bank Account button will take you to the page that allows you to connect your bank account. Alternatively, you could go to the Account menu, which is on the top menu bar, far right-hand side and select Connect Your Bank Account. Either button will take you to the same exact page, so it's just a matter of preference. Since my mouse is already here, I'm going to click on Connect Your Bank Account. So here we are at the Connect Your Bank Account screen. In order for us to successfully link your bank accounts to WAVE, WAVE is going to need a few pieces of information. Remember, as we said before, WAVE does not store any of this information. It's simply to create the connection between WAVE and your bank and to ensure that you actually own the account you're trying to link to. It's for your safety. The first thing that WAVE's going to need to know in order to set up your bank account link is what bank you're working with. So in this case, we're going to work with Chase Bank. So we'll click on Chase, and you'll notice that some banks will have different logins depending on whether it's a credit card or a personal account or a business account. So it's important when you click on what you think is your bank, look at the website right here at the bottom of the name and make sure that that's the website you go to to log into your online banking. If it's not, back up and try again. If you don't see your bank's name on this list, like you use a local or regional bank, then um, you can type it in here in the search bar below. For example, here in uh, Central Utah, we have um, Central Bank, which is a bank here locally. And uh, you can see there's the website centralbankutah.com. So I know whether or not I'm at the right central bank um, to, do, to put in my login credentials. So just make sure you check that and you're aware of what bank you've you've set it up because you can get frustrated really quickly if you think you're on the right site but it's not accepting your login credentials. So we want to chase, we feel like www.chase.com is the right website so let's go ahead and put in our username and our password and then click connect. So don't expect it to be that fast for you. For the sake of time, I went ahead and sped up the Pong game. And no, I didn't find out who won. But uh, we did pass our security check. And uh, bear in mind, if your bank's website does have security questions, which most do now, it may ask you one of those security questions in order to verify before it grants access to WAVE um, to uh, access your bank accounts. So there may be that. I skipped through that. And uh, we're here now at the Connect Your Bank Account screen in the final step where it will actually show you all of the accounts connected to that relationship and allow you to select which ones you want to bring in and which ones you don't. 
In this case, I brought in an example that has both a loan and a savings account. I don't want the loan in there because the loan doesn't belong to the business at all. So I'm going to turn the loan off and then I have the option of saying what I'm going to do with the savings account. Now we haven't talked about personal accounts yet inside of WAVE but um, you do have the option of making this account personal or business so this is really handy if you've got just a small kind of hobby business and your business accounts and personal accounts are related to each other. Um, also it's really handy if you don't have a business account you can assign everything to be a personal account and then just move the individual transactions related to your business over to the business side one by one as as you need to but um, for now the uh, we're just going to leave these with the accounting lab. The next thing it's going to want to know is what account inside of WAVE do I want to attach this to? If you already have an existing account set up for your bank in WAVE, then you can attach it to that account at this time. In this case, we don't. The only bank account that I have is cash on hand. So I'm going to want to create a new payment account for this savings account that it will be linked to in WAVE. It also wants to know how far back do I want to import transactions. So if you're setting up a brand new account in WAVE, you've never used this account before, go ahead and have it take in as far back as it possibly can. If you have an existing account and you've been manu manually entering things for a while, or it was auto-syncing, you've disconnected and you want it to relink, then you don't want to go as far back as possible. You only want it to go as far back as you've entered transactions. So I can say start from today, start from yesterday, start from a month ago, or start from a specific date. Whatever it is, you're going to want it to start from whatever date you stopped entering manually transactions into this account so that you don't get duplicate entry because WAVE will duplicate um, if you give it an overlapping time frame. In this case, this is a brand new account, so I'm going to have it start from as far back as possible. Now at this point normally this would take you to this screen where you would have a list of transactions that were brought in by your bank account. I specifically chose a, an account with very few transactions in it um, for a couple of reasons. One, to speed up the importing process, but also because I wanted to show you what this upload a bank statement button actually does. So let's say that you went to this add bank account button this uh, bank connect a bank account screen and you could not find your bank or perhaps you found your bank but could not successfully complete the linking to get your account information in not to worry the other alternative option would be uploading a bank statement um, from your bank account so how this works is you go out to your online banking and search a list of transactions across the date range and ask your online banking to export that into a specific file format that you can then upload to your accounting software. Most banks have this functionality and it contains universal file types that can be uploaded with just about any type of software. So it's very common to find this alternative if you either don't feel comfortable linking your bank account directly or you don't have that functionality available. So let's go ahead and click upload a bank statement and we'll bring some more transactions into this account. So on this upload a bank statement page, it shows you what kinds of file formats are acceptable for the upload into WAVE. Honestly, your Microsoft money and your simply accounting files are ones you're not going to see very often. However, the .qbo QuickBooks, .qfx Quicken, and .csv comma delimited format are very common formats for banks to download in. So you should be able to find one of those three or more um, that you can download. I would suggest, just out of a preference, that if you have the .qbo or .qfx QuickBooks or Quicken files available to download from your bank, go ahead and do those instead of the CSV. But if CSV is your only option here on the screen, then go ahead and use that one. So the first process is obviously going out to your online banking and downloading the specific format, one of these that's listed here, 
to your computer and then we're going to upload that into WAVE. Because every bank has a different way of downloading that file, I'm not going to show you how that works. But we'll just assume that I've already gone out to my online banking, retrieved the file. In this case, we're going to be using a .qfx Quicken file and we're ready to import that into WAVE. So I'm going to click Choose File to select the file that I've previously downloaded. And now that I have my .qfx file ready, it's going to ask me what bank account we're going to import this into. So I'll say we'll import it into that savings account that we just created and click Upload. This will take a few minutes just to read in all of that data. And now I have transactions that are ready to be read in. And that is all there is to linking your bank accounts to WAVE. In the next videos, we'll talk about what to do with these transactions now that we've got them all in. Thank you for watching the Bootstrapper's Guide to Wave Accounting. If you found this video useful, I encourage you to click the like button below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share this video with other entrepreneurs. Doing so will help us to continue creating more videos like this one for you and other Wave users here on the Accounting Lab.